The Stoic philosophy has a very unique view on poverty and riches. In this philosophy, Seneca was a very prominent figure. Born around 4 BC, his influence was at its height around the Emperor Nero's reign. It's my hope that sharing his unique view on riches, poverty, and prosperity will not only help you better understand, but better appreciate what you already have. This way, as you work your way up and increase your influence and income, you won't be racked with anxiety that does nothing but get in your way. We'll start this off by looking at his view on the benefits and risks of gaining new wealth. He said, the acquisition of wealth has been for many not an end, but a change of troubles. You see, Seneca believed that the issues that many people blame on the lack of money actually come from the mind. He said, for the problem is not in the wealth, but in the mind itself. This is not to say that money cannot solve any of your life issues, but Seneca is more speaking of the internal issues, like happiness, anxiety, and self-satisfaction. Think of it, if somebody who is never satisfied with what they already have gains more money, don't you think that it would only increase their anxiety of either getting more money or losing it all? Another area in which Seneca felt strongly about in regards to money is how it affects friendships, new and old. You have to expect that the more riches that you gain, the more people are going to want their piece of the pie. In regards to this issue, I will tell you to heed this warning from Seneca. He who begins to be your friend because it pays will also cease because it pays. On the other hand, he said in contrast, poverty will keep for you your true and tried friends. You will be rid of men who are not seeking you for yourself, but for something which you have. Is it not true, however, that you should love poverty if only for this single reason, that it will show you those by whom you are loved? Seneca also expressed often the troubles that come along with riches. He sums it up with this one quote, When the trumpet sounds, the poor man knows that he is not being attacked. When there is a cry of fire, he only looks for a way to escape and does not ask what he can save. It's only natural that the more wealth that you have, the more that could be potentially lost. It's my opinion that influence and income should be grown slowly with true and virtuous intentions. If not, you risk not building the tools necessary so that when you do have the wealth, that you can keep it without the worry of being taken advantage of. Many will misunderstand or scorn Seneca's opinions on poverty and riches. This is partly because we're conditioned to think the exact opposite, but mostly because we want a corporeal answer for an incorporeal problem. So what is Seneca's response on how to obtain great wealth while limiting your anxiety and maintaining your happiness? For this, he said that if you wish to have leisure for your mind, either be a poor man or resemble a poor man. The important part about this quote is resemble a poor man. Live below your means, try to give away that which you can, and most importantly, be contented with little in life. Just because you're contented doesn't mean that you have to stay right where you are. On the contrary, it means that you can move forward without the fear of failure because if you fail, you're just going back to that which you're satisfied with. Some people may say that this will take away any motivation that someone has to get out of the area of satisfaction, but in Stoicism, you're always striving to be the best and most virtuous human being that you can be. This means taking action on what you deem to be true and righteous. Always try to remember this great quote by Seneca. Contented poverty is not poverty at all. It is not the man who has little, but the man who craves more, who is poor. If you made it to the end of the video, let me know in the comments below what you're satisfied and grateful for in your life. And if you like videos on Stoicism, make sure you subscribe. I post new videos every single week. Stay stoic and stay satisfied, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.